Hello everyone, my name is Manjinder. Today we are going to learn about Amazon Seismaker Pipelines. In general, pipeline is a set of data processing elements connected in a series where the output of one element is the input of the next one. Amazon Seismaker provides the capability that is Seismaker Pipelines. By using this service, we can easily create machine learning pipelines. It provides support to build, automate, manage and track machine learning workflows. It is integrated with Amazon Seismaker and Amazon Seismaker Studio means we can create pipelines using Amazon Seismaker Studio. In this, only approved models deployed into production. So in this video, we are going to learn about creation or and deployment of an end-to-end -end machine learning pipelines from pre-processing to training to deployment. So let's start. For this, after login into AWS Management Console, under service, choose Amazon Seismaker. So from Amazon Seismaker Console, choose Amazon Seismaker Studio, then open Studio. So this is Amazon Seismaker Studio. It has many features under under this feature we have projects, data wrangler, feature store, pipelines, experiment and trails, model history and endpoints. To create a new pipeline we have to create a new project. For creating new project click on create project from here or we can select from here. So here it provides us built-in templates for model building and training and deployment for mod template for model building training and deployment with third party git repository using Jenkins template for model building and training template for model deployment template for model building training and deployment with third party git, git repository using code pipelines so choose any template according to your requirements click on the template then click on select project template here give name to your template and provide description then click on a create project it will take some time after a few minutes project is created with status pending when status is cha status changes from pending to created click on the project So here we can see there are two artifacts. These are two code commit repository. One is for model building and another is for model deployment. We have to clone this repository. So let's clone it. model build repository contains these artifacts here we have seismaker pipeline project notebook this is example notebook for creating the pipelines to build a model open this notebook here is some documentation here is the layout of this repository by using this example we are going to find the age of this shellfish shellfish by using some parameters so here we are defining some or we are importing some important libraries then accessing reason execution rule and bucket name default bucket in the next steps, we are getting the pipeline instance from pipelines.ablon.pipeline. Then we are executing this that pipeline. So to get this pipeline, we have to click here on pipeline. Then click on ablon. Here we have some pipelines code. 
this is for pre-processing this is for evaluation and this pipeline is to train evaluate and register the model so here we have to we first process the data then train the model then evaluate the model if model satisfies some condition then we register that model so on the top we important we import some important libraries then here we are getting the client then getting the session here are some custom tags for pipelines so under this function get underscore pipeline we are accessing some important factors like reason SageMaker project on role bucket name then model package group name pipeline name and prefix so here we are defining some important parameters for our pipeline this is processing instance count total number of processing instance then its type then training instance type status then input data under the next step we are processing the data by using sklearn processor function then here is training the model here we we are here we are creating the instance of the model by using inbuilt xgboost algo then here hyperparameter tuning under the step processing step for evaluation we are evaluating our model then registering the model based on this condition if the mean square error is less than 6 then we register the model else not here we are creating the pipeline instance and sending all above parameters like step process train data evaluation evaluated data and the model that are registered in the model registry so our model building repository contain the all artifacts to build machine learning pipeline with different steps run it run them automatically register the train model after the training process to deploy the model we have to give the manual approval so model building pipeline start with input data construct a model building pipeline which generates some model validate that model then register that model into model registry depending on whether the model meets your requirement and for model deployment we have to give manual approval to deploy the model for production and for staging for this go to model groups click on it as we can see here it has status pending change the status from pending to approval approved then update the status by doing this our model is deployed into staging It will take some time. After some time, under endpoint, it create endpoints to deploy a model for staging. So under model groups, we can see the execution of our pipeline. So all green means everything is correct. So first, it preprocess data, then train the model then evaluate the model then check some condition condition is if mean square error is less than 6 then register the model else not so under matrix we have mean square error that is 4.3.9 which is less than 6 so our model register into the registry so our model is deployed for staging to deploy a model for production again we need a approval for this go to 
code pipeline service of Amazon then under pipeline open your pipeline then here we can see model built in pipeline is executed successfully then model deployment pipeline is also executed successfully to deploy a model in production we have to give a manual approval for this click on here and approve this model then click on done after some time the model is deployed into production so that's all about how pipelines work in seismic thank you